Hey guys, Del Colvin with a quick fishing report for you out of Bull Souls Lake boat dock for Bull Souls Lake. Today is Thursday, March 28th. Water temperature is about 50 degrees in the morning, right here by the marina. Uh, you can find 58, upper 50s in the backs of some of the creeks on a sunny day. Uh, the lake level, they finally started slowing down generation, so they've been running a lot of water. I think we're only half a foot high now or whatever, but we got rain in the forecast. So the fishing's been hit or miss, kind of like the weather has, uh, but it's, it's starting to get good. Things are just looking right for the next couple weeks. I think we got one more cold snap coming and then, it's, then it should pick up. Uh, the fish, it's, it's textbook stuff, guys. Uh, the stuff on the north side, the fish are on secondary points, channel swing banks leading into the backs with the spawning areas. So cover water and fish the conditions. On the other side, they're still, they're still a little bit deeper, um, depending on the day. If you got wind, if you're in the clear water, uh, you're gonna want a little wind. We had like no wind this morning, so conditions were a little bit tougher. So go over a couple things that have been working for me. If I'm covering water, uh, just a little small finesse bait, the 3-3 Kytec and any of the favorite shad patterns. That's if the water's clear, that's working to catch a few fish. If it's, if it's laying flat bluebirds, you're going to pick a few fish up on a shaky head. The fish have been positioned on the points with the wind, even if there's just a little bit of wind or in the shade of the docks. Uh, going along here, did stick quite a few fish on a beaver. Uh, the beaver's been producing with the water clearing up the way it is. There's been a lot of moss in the water so the crankbite still catching a few on the wiggle war guys uh, as you notice I change colors as the water temperature starts coming up kind of moving away from the reds you can get into some bright colors again if you're in the dirty water the red crawler is still working out on the main lake so um, I did drag the old ball and chain out this week. Carolina rig starting to work. Just one of those things you're gonna wanna have in your boat. Those gravel points leading into the spawning pockets, those are gonna hold some fish. Uh, putting a boat in 25, 30 and just covering water along the points. Skipping a, a small jig, this is a little jewel jig with just a little Z-Boss on there. Using that to pitch around docks in the shady sides of the docks if it's windy or the little channel swing banks with chunk style rock. Guys are still throwing a jerk bait. The jerk bait's gonna be hit or miss, but if you're throwing this jerk bait right now, you don't know if you're gonna catch a walleye, if you're gonna catch a crappie, if you're gonna catch a bass. So that's something you wanna keep on deck too, just to put a couple extra fish in the boat. Uh, last but not least is the jewel gem shad. There's little pockets of shad, guys. So if if you run into them, this is just a great bait. Um, this is something that's going to be on my deck for the next month at least, if not longer. Um, slow rolling that through the bait pods. You know, uh, it can be the back of a main lake pocket or the back of a creek. So couple different things that's working for me give them a try guys don't forget to fish the conditions you know if you're in the clear water move off the bank a little bit especially if it's calm if you get back in the creeks and the water's dirty you can get shallow so good luck this weekend we got the big john's tournament this weekend so if you guys are coming out we're looking forward to putting this event on for you thanks for watching and be, be sure to subscribe Till next week.